Hey there, how's it going? It's Miffed Luke here. My name is Luke. I have lived in the London suburbs for my entire life. I have been in and out of Waterloo Station hundreds if not thousands of times. However, I still don't really understand how the trains work. How is that? Today we are going to look at how autism and dyspraxia affects my ability to learn and understand taking the trains. London Waterloo is the third busiest station in the UK. There is a lot of information to take here. I'm seeing adverts, cafes, signs, timetables, all those people, ticket barriers. There's so much information here, it's overwhelming. I'm not a brilliant reader, and I'm a slow reader as well. There is a lot of information here, and I just need to get on a train. Where I live and where my station is isn't the final destination for the train, so I had to work out which trains do stop at my station, and what platform they are at. And some trains are slower than others getting to my destination. Alright, so that's telling me the fastest train is to where I want to go. That platform 3, we gotta go. When I'm going in and out of Waterloo, I'm kind of on autopilot. And I have a disability travel pass, so I know that my ticket covers me to travel from my home to London Waterloo and around the underground. But I often get stuck behind people whose tickets aren't working. I have been stopped sometimes getting asked to prove that I have a disability travel pass, and my mum always has to deal with it. So I guess I'm going for the wrong one, but you had red lights on them, crosses on them even, and then I found one with green on it. In this video, I am making a simple journey from Kingston to Richmond. Let's see how I get on. The first thing I notice is Kingston Station seems very simple. There's a ticket office, ticket machine, only three platforms, and there is a very simple map showing me where all the trains go to. This is a really good map, and I'm going to talk through why. The important thing is, is that it tells me which trains go where and all of the stops in between. It also tells me that it is in Fair Zone 6. Which means I know that I can use my disability travel card here. They also have a passenger assistance station if I need physical support. Though I hear that there have been complaints they don't often have people there. Looks like I've got to press a button. I suppose that somebody answers or, or something. Calming spaces. It looks like they got a space for that. And especially if you've got near differences this could be quite important. Trains are often affected by strikes and planned engineering. I'm not sure how to find that out other than going online. The map downstairs tells me that I have to take the Waterloo train to get to Richmond and not the Shepperton train. And I am on the train to Richmond from Kingston. And then you need to know which stop to get off at. Thankfully, there is usually a voice, it's usually automated, sometimes it's staff though, telling you what, which the next stop is. So, unless you're hardcore jamming through some heavy metal through some headphones or something, then you should be able to hear it just fine. My mum usually insists on telling me the stop before the stop we are getting off at, just to make sure we are ready. So that's good practice. It's not usually too much of an issue as there are doors everywhere, but if it's a packed train, let's say, then it might be hard to get through without barging and punching people. And now I'm at Richmond, where they keep on going on about Ted Lasso. Here's some more clips for the Ted Lasso fans, someone I haven't even heard about a week ago. I know that some of this might be completely obvious for some people like which platform to get on at when your train arrives and which stop to get off at but for someone like me especially with autism and dyspraxia it is a lot of information to take in and understand. Thank you so much for watching it's Smith Luke here my name is Luke I'll be interested to hear about your experiences with trains in the comments below. Goodbye everyone.